My studio is in Wildwood, so it's 6046 Lund Street, past the top of the hill gas station, and before you hit the pub, on the other side, halfway in between, is my studio. There's a big purple flag waving at you, so it's in there. And then I also have some signs out. I have an open sign out. And uh, when I'm here, I'll have that sign out. Otherwise, come back again or give me a call. Oh, hi, I'm Evelyn Kirkcaldy. Welcome to my studio. Come on in. Well, my studio is open all year. I've got a couple of rooms that are galleries and they basically have my drip paintings. And then when you go downstairs, you see many of my other styles. And they include the bears and my oil paints and pastels and watercolors. I've been an artist ever since I can remember. I mean, I think most children love doing art. As a child, I used to do a lot of paint by numbers. And one day my dad said, oh, you can draw so well. Why don't you do your own things instead of just coloring in the pictures? So my very first oil painting was leftover paint by number paints of a Dennis the Menace cartoon. <laughs> and I wish I still had it. I was always doing art. I took summer classes. I grew up in Toronto. I did about a year of taking courses at three schools of art in Toronto. And then I had a year at York University Art History. And then I did four years at Ontario College of Art. And then I actually took communication and design. So I was a graphic designer and an illustrator for many years and worked for some prominent ad agencies. But my goal was always to be a fine artist by the time I was 40. Well, it took about 10 more years, but I did it. Right now I do wildflowers. I do my splatter paintings, but I've done so many different styles. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time. What inspires my artwork is the wilderness and the wild beings that live there, and especially bears. I've had hundreds of bear encounters, and most of them were on purpose. I love being with bears. I'm also inspired by color. Color is what I like. And so I guess that's why a lot of them are uh, flowers. I lived in the Kootenays for 17 years in the Slocan Valley. And there's a place called Idaho Peak up there where the wildflowers, end of July, beginning of August, are absolutely spectacular. So you got the mountains and the trees and the wildflowers spectacular color so I've done a lot of paintings on that theme. I have responded to a few people when they say how do you describe your art and I would say Jackson Pollock but representational. A little bit about my process. So basically I work flat. I prime my canvas with a brush first. From now on it's just stir sticks and I'll splatter and I'll drip perhaps my skies first, then I put the darks on, put on the trees, and then I work from dark to light. I love having studio tours because I get to meet a lot of people, and especially locals. I think there's a lot of locals that probably drive by my gallery, and sometimes perhaps they're reluctant to come in, or they may think, oh, I'll come in another time, but I think it gives them a comfortable situation to come in for a little visit and I get to know them. That's the great part. People can also find my art at Artique, which is on Alberni Street in downtown Powell River. My website is evelynkirkaldiart.com.